You guys have been begging me to do a look with this palette, so that's what we're gonna do. Thank you guys so much for showing up today. Um, I know in these busy trying times of quarantine, you guys have a day stacked of doing nothing and just binge watching 90 Day Fiance and eating cold cuts and pickled green beans. Um... So we're gonna be doing a look with this palette today. Uh, when I did my haul, you guys were insisting I do a look with this palette. And honestly guys, I don't really do tutorials very often here on my channel because I think they're stupid boring. Like I just, I think they're very boring. There's so many tutorials out here. I think YouTube is so oversaturated with tutorials. And I don't wanna give you guys things that other people are already doing, but I am gonna go ahead and try and do like a little look-see with this just so you guys can practice at home because right now really is the best Time to get the best at makeup because who are you showing your cat probably okay you could literally wash it off you're not gonna go anywhere it's not like you have to impress anybody literally at all right now is the best time to practice eyeshadow eyeliner contouring foundation anything that you have an issue with practice now guys it's honestly this is the best time to learn anything i'm realizing that i have a problem with reality television and you know what if not for this quarantine i would have never discovered that about myself so all good things. Honestly, I can't even tell if they're crooked or not, but that's as good as we're gonna get it today, probably. Okay, so this is the Dominic Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. First of all, she's a huge bitch. Like, she is, she's big. The pant sizes are big, the mirror is big, the colors are big, just big attitude all around. This is just a big palette. She is still available online, and it's just a beautiful assortment of berries and plums. I see we got a gorgeous transition shade. You could do a lot with a palette like this, you guys and honestly if you guys have a palette like this at home this is the best time to practice with colors i think purples are the best ones to practice with because for some reason i think purples are the neutrals of the color world yeah it's a color but it's still pretty neutral so i really like practicing with purples and i really like playing with purples because while they can get very messy they also can be very complimentary and very easy to work with so if you guys are just now learning makeup and wanting to try color i would recommend you start out with purples move on to blues and then greens or just so forth or you guys can go balls deep in a neon fuchsia it's fine don't even listen to me here guys i'm a neutral whore at the end of the day so trying to find all my blending shades why can i never find my blending eyeshadows like i don't have a gazillion of them we're gonna grab soft and sweet and you guys are gonna notice this is gonna be my transition shade this is the shade i'm gonna be blowing out and really making sure that i blend this color because this one is gonna make all my other colors blend Now I'm gonna go in with bittersweet and this I'm also kind of gonna blend into my transition shade. I'm not placing anything directly into my crease just yet because I don't want any color to be necessarily dominant. I want this look to be very blown out and blended and that's why we're kind of building the intensity. So that's why I'm swishing this around very much with my transition shade. Now I feel more comfortable getting really deep into a color that I really want in my crease. So I'm gonna go in with cherry juice and this I'm gonna go in with a more precise brush. I'm gonna use my Scott Barnes 6-2 brush and really focus this on my crease and really build that intensity. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab Cranberry and that's gonna be my all over lid shade. I usually go for like a shimmery um, just because they're easier to work with and they're easier to blend out. And this one is super pretty and it just kind of goes with the whole theme. And I'm gonna go in with a flat brush to really lay down this color. And then you guys have seen me do this trick so many times. It's not anything that is Exclusive to me, I literally just grab a black eyeshadow and then I follow the tape and kind of do a little winged liner. You guys can do this with actual eyeliner. It's just a step that I do that keeps me from standing up and having to grab something new. And it works pretty well and I like the smoky effect that it gives.
Hey, I love this eyeshadow palette. It worked out really well for the fact that it's basically purples and mauves. It blended out like a dream. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of tutorial. Please do not get used to it because I'm not gonna do it a lot. Honestly, I think tutorials are just the most boring thing ever. But I'm gonna try and be like more in depth when doing my eyeshadow, but I'm not gonna make any promises. I'm not. I love you guys though. I love you guys very much and I love these eyeshadows. If you guys are interested in checking out Dominique Cosmetics, this video is not sponsored, but she is a YouTuber. She's such a sweetheart. I love her videos. She's very informative. She's very fun. And she's a really talented gal that started her own makeup line and is thriving. And we just, we love a hoe that thrives. I'm not the only uplifter of bitches here. You guys all better be as well. Go check her out. Go send her some love. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quarantine look I did because that's what we're calling it. Yeah.